Yo, what's up, Anzave here? So I am here today at Mock Pod Compound building here, just beside the Ateneo High School. And I'm so excited to try all of the food that they offer here from this compound because there's a lot. We're gonna be doing a food crawl here today. This is going to be our first time doing a food crawl for this vlog. I hope you guys are ready. Let's go and check out this first food place. Tap silog, long silog, tapos yang chow, fried rice. Right, so for the first food place where I am at right now, so this one is called the silog in the box. And I'm so psyched to try their food here. But before we get started, if you guys are new to my channel or haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. You're doing me a big favor by doing so. And also hit that notification bell so that you'll be always notified from all of my channel's activity. Alright, so let's finally dig into this one. So I ordered the long salog and the top salog. So long salog is a longanisa, the sinangag, and the egg. This one has two pieces of longanisa, fried egg, cucumber and tomatoes, and of course the garlic rice. Let's have a taste of the longanisa first. Mmm, this is so nice. I so love that really strong porky flavor. It's peppery and juicy. Every time you chew, all of that great porky juice will just reside on your tongue. Now it's time to add the egg and the rice to the party, so let's try this one. Mmm. <laughs> That is so marvelous. First thing you will love is that very strong aroma from the garlic rice. And when you start to chew, that really strong porky flavor will hit on your taste buds. And you will love it because the egg yolk will try to neutralize all that really strong flavors. Another one. Mm. The rice is so amazing. Really aromatic. And you will definitely get that mild flakiness because it's fried. Mm. This is so lovely. The next food that I have here, this one is the tapsa log. The composition is still the same. The only difference is the longanisa and the tapa. It still has the cucumber and the tomato as your side dish. Let's finally have a taste of the tapa. Mmm, this is so lovely and sweet. I love that the sweetness of this tapa is really giving extra flavor. That really exposes more the flavor of this tapa. Now with the rice and the egg. Mmm, that is just the perfect combo. That garlicky flavor from the rice is a really good contrast to the sweetie and meaty flavor from the tapa. And it's really amazing because the aftertaste will give you that kind of salty and savory flavor from the egg yolk. Mmm, I so like this one. Mm. Mm. The aroma from the garlic rice is really giving you more of that appetizing factor. It would really make you eat more of this one. Mm. One big bite. Mm. Mm. This tapa, awesome. Right, so now we move here at the Turkish Kebab House to try their Turkish food. I ordered the hummus, some Turkish sandwich, and their kebab rolls as well. Let's try their hummus first. Hummus is the healthiest dip you can ever get, so let's try this one. This one's made of chickpeas. Let's try this. savory, a little salty, and I still love the texture of this pita. It's really thin, not that chewy, and it gives it that mild taste. Let's have another one. Mm. This is yummy and delightful.
Next food that I have for this one is the beef kebab roll. For this one, I can see the cucumbers, onions, the beef kebab, some sauce, and of course, their pita wrap. Let's finally dig into this one. Mm, the sauce is dripping at the bottom. The kebab meat is amazingly meaty and it's so aromatic. The sauce that they put inside is a little savory, sweet, and salty, and really complements the entire flavor of this kebab roll. Let's have another one. Mm, the texture of your pita wrap, absolutely amazing. And it really grabs the flavor of the kebab and the sauce. As soon as the kebab touches your taste buds, it will linger in your tongue for long hours and you will like it because it's really good. Mm. So I have here the chicken kebab roll. I guess it's still the same. The only difference is the chicken and the beef kebab. So you need to have a taste on this one. Mm. The sauce is kind of weird for me because imagine sweet, sour, and savory. But I guess I'm just not used to Turkish food. But this one's really good. Let's have another bite. The chicken kebab on this one is really succulent and flavorful. Now let's dip this one to the hummus. Now let's try this chicken kebab roll and the hummus. Mmm, that was the missing recipe right there. This hummus is definitely an addition to the kebab. It's a vanilla one because that was really delicious. Mmm. I kind of destroyed the pita from that pipe and all of that gray sauce was spread into the hummus and this time it's going to be more awesome. Mm. That savory and a little salty flavor from the hummus is a really good addition to the flavor of this kebab bro. It's like the ultimate fusion of San Goku and Vegeta. Mm. The hummus and the kebab it's a must try. Right, so next food that I have here, this one is the chicken pita sandwich. The shape of this one is really interesting. It looks like a mushroom with filling inside. So the composition of this one, it has some cabbage, onions, cucumber, the chicken kebab, and of course some tomatoes, dressing, and some sauce. Let's have a bite. Mm. The sauce is also the same from the kebab roll. The bread is different now. The bread is kind of soft, airy. The outside layer of the bread is grilled, so it's kind of a bit toasted. And it gives it additional bitterness to the bread, so it's really great. Mm. This is absolutely a different kind of sandwich or a burger. Now it's time to add the hummus to this one. Let's try this one. The hummus is definitely the peanut butter to the sandwich and <clears throat> so awesome. When you come here at Turkish Kebab House, you should definitely order the hummus because you can add the hummus to any kind of their dishes and it's so delicious. Mm. This sandwich and the hummus is a match made in heaven. Guys, I am here at the Wing Boss, the unlimited wings here at this food compound. So for the chicken that I ordered, I have here the mango glazed and the pineapple teriyaki. Let's have a taste of this mango glazed first.
I can definitely taste the mango flavor to the chicken. This is so awesome. Mm. This is my first time having a mango flavor on a chicken and this one is really delicious. Yeah, if you try to look at this one, it's glistening with that beautiful sauce from the mango glaze and the chicken is really tender, it's juicy, succulent, really flavorful. But every time you take a bite, all of that amazing flavors will linger in your taste buds. This chicken is glistening with beauty of the sauce and it tastes really good. Let's have another one. Mmm. Mmm. Even the flies are really wanting to have a taste on this one. You can definitely smell the mango in the chicken. Mmm. The chicken flavors here at Wing Boys are definitely unique. Usually when you go to only wing places, you will see almost the same flavors. But this one definitely stands out. This is really yummy. Let's have more. The flavor of the sauce is a little sweety, tangy, but amazing chickeny flavor will just give you that amazing sensation to your tongue. This mango glazed chicken, out of this world delicious. Next chicken flavor that I have here, this one is the pineapple teriyaki. And like I said earlier, the chicken flavors here at Wing Boss are definitely unique. They are fusing the fruity flavor to the chicken, so it really makes it interesting. I have high expectations of this one because the previous one, the mango glaze, was really yummy. Let's try this one. Mmm. Mmm. This is just mind-blowingly good. You can definitely taste the tangy flavor from the pineapple, that sweet and salty flavor from the sauce of the teriyaki, that tremendous aroma from the sesame seeds, and that lovely and succulent chickeny flavor will just complete this awesome flavor of this chicken. Jesus. Hands down to this flavor and to the chicken. Flavor is really on point. Chickens cook so well. Fragrance is absolutely beautiful. Everything about this chicken is just so lovely. You can see it, wing boss borderline tasty right so it's time for dessert. I'm going at this coffee shop right now. Let's try to look for something sweet to cleanse our palate after all of the food that we ate today. So yeah. Uh, I'm going at this place. I don't know what's the name of this one. Mm. So yeah, let me show you the place. This one. Right, so I'm here at Black Scoop Cafe. The place is really awesome, very decent. Let's talk about all the food that we ate today. From the salog in a box, it was really, really yummy. You can definitely taste and enjoy the Pinoy style of breakfast dishes. The longanese was great. The tapas is really awesome. It's tender, juicy, succulent, and flavorful. And also that amazing garlic rice will complete that awesome breakfast meal. The Turkish kebab was also wonderful. The hummus, the kebab rolls, that chicken burger, that amazing sour, sweetie, and sweet savory sauce. Lastly, from the wing boss, it was out of this world delicious. That was the first time for me trying some fruity flavors to the chicken and I am so mind blown that it was really really good. The flavors are unique, really taste so good. The chicken are perfectly cooked, juicy, succulent, flavorful. The sauce is really rich with flavor. That amazing tangy, sour, sweetie flavor from the mango and the pineapple. Everything was just amazing from the chickens at the wing boss. So if you have any suggestions for my next food location, just drop it down in the comments below. I would definitely read all of it and make sure to visit in all those places. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is me and Dave and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.